In this video, we take a look at some examples where we're multiplying uh, multiple sign numbers or dividing multiple sign numbers. And the key idea here is uh, that we want to. The key idea here is we want to just count up the number of negative signs. Turns out, because of our sign rule from that first page here. Uh, if you have an even number of negatives, as we had here or here, the answer is positive. But if we have an odd number of negatives, as we did in those two rows, then the answer is uh, negative. And so returning back to our problem here, negative 5 times negative 2 times 7 times negative 3 what we would realize here is, hey, we have three negatives. So my answer is going to be negative. And then we just do the multiplication. 5 times 2 times 7 times 3. And when we do that, we get 210. So the answer will be negative 210. Let's consider another example here. Negative 4 times negative 3. I'm sorry. Negative 4 times negative 2 times negative 3 times negative 1. We have four negatives involved, so that's an even number, so we're going to have a positive answer. And then we just do the multiplication, 4 times 2 times 3. And that will give us 24 as our answer. Uh, in the next example, we are dividing uh, two fractions. Well, remember, the first thing we need to do when we divide two fractions is change the division to a multiplication. So that will be keep negative three-eighths, change the division to multiplication, and then flip that fraction. So we'll have negative three over eight times negative four over eight. Remember when we multiply, we then look for stuff to cancel. So I have a four in the top. I can divide a four out of the four and get one, a four out of the eight and get two. And then that's all the simplifying I can do. That's all the simplifying I can do here. And then all we do is multiply. At this point we have three negatives, so my answer will be negative. And then I multiply across the top and across the bottom. Three times one is three, two times five is ten. And so we get the answer negative three over ten. So with multiplying and dividing, all we have to do is keep track of how many negatives are involved in the multiplication or division problem.